Hello, my name is Ken Halischak. I'm uh, one of the partners here at Brown & Company. I've been here since 1981 and have never regretted a day. Um, I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of people in our firm, a cross-section of the lawyers here, who will help uh, describe the how, when, why of the things that we do here at Brian & Company in a way that is not easy to see from the website. So enjoy the video, uh, good luck to you, and stay well. I chose Brian & Company because it was the place that I felt I could be most myself. During Articling Week, I toured a number of firms and those firms felt somewhat disingenuous. I felt like I had to put forward a front of who I was. The only hour that I felt really comfortable in any interview was in the Brian & Company interview. And Brian and company actually appreciated who I was and seemed to like who I was, so then I felt more and more like myself. I think what really drew me to Brian and company is literally the people. I walked out of there and I thought, you know what, no matter what happens on that day, I hope that I have the opportunity to work with, uh, with those guys. I debated with the partner who was interviewing me about whether or not I should hate LeBron James. And um, it was like such a fun, stimulating conversation. I just like, I loved it. And when I left the interview, I called my husband and I said, I think I just had like the best interview I've had all day. I think that initial feeling of feeling more like myself at Brian and Company was what brought me here. But what has really inspired me to stay was being able to grow who I am at Brian and Company. I started off with smaller projects, just kind of research and stuff like that to ease me into it. By the end of the summer, I was getting some more intensive projects that I was really enjoying. Kind of didn't want to go back to school by the end of it. <laughs> I kind of articled to the firm. I didn't really article just to my principal. And so that allowed me to go out and search out the type of work that I wanted. Throughout the last four or five years, I've really been given the tools and also the room throughout the firm to discover what kind of lawyer I want to be, what kind of colleague I want to be. We are built on a practice where you can go ask anybody any question that you want, uh, but at the same time you do have to have a certain level of drive to want to succeed in your own practice and take all the steps that you need to take to make sure that that happens. I feel as though I'm largely allowed to do whatever kind of law I want. Not only allowed to do whatever kind of law I want, but also encouraged and trained really well to do the type of law I want. I think Brian Company is very unique that we have such a diverse practice area. And because of that, I got to very early on tell the lawyers at Brian Company that I wanted to practice family law uh, and kind of grow that practice area kind of from the ground up. There was no track. Nobody said, you gotta be here five years, you gotta be here six years, you gotta be here eight years. I, uh, I like to think they sort of recognized uh, what I brought to the table at Brown and & Company and saw a future in me and they took a flyer and here I am. I was able to take over a practice area as quite a junior lawyer that I did not have the training for and Brian and & Company invested a great deal of resources to get me there. Partners know you're going to come ask them questions. They offer it and the offer isn't just out there, the offer is come and ask me questions. That's certainly one of the aspects of the firm that drew me in is being able to you know, ask questions without the risk of being embarrassed or um, feeling as though I had to figure things out on my own. Even like as simple as asking how their weekend was and just having some casual conversations that you can kind of build a rapport with everybody, it makes like the more stressful days a lot easier. It sounds like a bit of a cliche, but we're actually friends with who we work with, so I have never had a morning where I don't want to come to work. I've always had mornings where I'm excited to come to work. I get to see people that I actually want to see in the morning, so that has been, uh, I think, unique. I don't think every firm has that. I think for the most part, we're a largely uh, understanding firm. You know, you morph from full-on suits, ties, eventually you ditch the tie, eventually you just start wearing sweater vests. The culture of Brian & Company is honestly grounded in hard work. I would say that every single lawyer here works very hard, is very dedicated to the practice. It's like a calm atmosphere, and then when it's time to advocate for your client, people like put their jackets on, and then it's time to go to work and do the best that we can. But also they're a group of people that enjoy spending time together. There isn't a huge hierarchy between the different levels of lawyers here at Brian and Company. There aren't a ton of walls, so I feel comfortable playing slow pitch on our team with partners, students, counsel. 
Batman Company does a lot of social activities. Most of the lawyers are involved in every aspect. And obviously, I am the MVP of the slow pitch team. <laughs> Wasn't necessary to laugh at that. <laughs> we are exceptionally good lawyers, providing good service, but at the same time, we truly enjoy being around each other and enjoying each other's company. So if I was going to give advice to someone who was looking to get a summer position or an articling position, I would suggest not to be afraid to be yourself and show a lot of your personality in the interviews. It seems like almost a setup at times when you go into that first interview and everyone's acting so relaxed and asking you questions about your weekend and stuff like that. I found at least when you're looking through the websites and stuff, kind of every every firm kind of starts to blend together and they all seem identical honestly. But then after the summer and like the events that I went to, it's been just like such a welcoming environment here and it makes for a good place to learn. I think that what Brian and Company is really looking for is someone who's interesting. Everyone's going to go to similar classes in law school. Everyone's going to try hard. Just show your personality. Actually talk about what your hobbies are. If you talk about what you're passionate about, it will show that you're passionate. And I think that's what we like here. We look for people who take the work really seriously, but don't necessarily take themselves too seriously. And that's who succeeds here. They'll accept you for the type of person that you are. And they want to help you. They want to legitimately see you succeed. And it's when somebody actually digs a little bit deeper and, and thinks about issues that didn't even occur to me, it's, it's that type of lawyer that uh, I think will really be successful. You're given all the resources and all the support to go out uh, and pound the pavement and look for clients or other relationships that drive business to you. You're probably gonna work a little bit harder here, but the reason for that is that we're going to give you work that's probably just a little bit above your pay grade, a little bit above your, your level of ability, and we want you to strive for that. And the people that succeed here are those that can accept that challenge and really thrive with it.